the beautiful region of Tuscany, Italy, provides the perfect location for one of the world's fastest growing outdoor sports. Nestled high above the ancient town of Lucca, this normally peaceful mountain area is invaded by the colorful and energetic action of the second mountain bike world championships. 1991 sees a total of 2,100 competitors from 39 countries gather together over eight days of competition. There are two major disciplines in the mountain bike championships, the downhill and the cross-country events. There's no overall champion, a world champion emerges from each distinct category, but most competitors will take on the challenge of both. The downhill course is designed for the fearless. It's often dangerous with difficult turns and maneuvers to negotiate. Competitors often haven't had much time to get to know every detail of the route. The descent is almost 5,000 meters in length, with an average gradient of 8.4%. Downhill mountain bikers are often compared to downhill skiers, both relying on precision, speed, and an element of sheer reckless bravery. Champion cyclist Albert Titaine from Switzerland always takes time for mental preparation before a race. He describes how it feels just before he makes his descent. It's not easy. It's the same feeling as a downhill skier gets. You need nerves of steel before you go. It's important to keep calm and concentrate your mind completely on the run, going through every small detail of the course in your mind. In the senior men's downhill final, 121 out of 134 riders complete successful descents. Francis Christian Taifer, the current European champion, sets out as one of the race favorites, but it's the Swiss and US teams who dominate the downhill event. Riding for Team Silo, it's Switzerland's Albert Iten, who comes home five seconds ahead of America's John Tomac. Iten's winning time is 7 minutes 11.2 seconds. In that discipline, the Americans had a clean sweep of the medal positions in last year's World Championships, so victory for Iten comes as a great honor for the Swiss. For the crowd, the most spectacular mountain bike discipline is the cross-country event. The women's final is dominated by the USA, with Ruthie Mathis winning narrowly over the Czech Eva Alvrosova. The men's race is over four laps of a demanding 13-kilometer course. Like the top road races, this event begins on a flat circuit, but soon winds its way around the treacherous mountain tracks. John Tomac, runner-up in the downhill, establishes a clear lead from early on in the race. Switzerland's Erik Ubelhardt makes an impressive start, but soon the rest of the field are minutes behind the race leader.
No, no, vai, vai, vai tranquillo, scegli lui, vai. Thomas Frischnecht from Switzerland and Ned Overend battle for second place. But it's John Tomac, a former BMX world champion from Colorado, who sweeps into an easy victory in the cross country in a time of 2 hours, 38 minutes, 56 seconds. And it's an overjoyed Thomas Frischnecht who rides in to give the Swiss another top place. Okay. 